Okay, in this problem we have a stone that is thrown vertically upward with a speed of 17.8 meters per second. So that's going to be our initial velocity we're throwing with. So 17.8 meters per second. From the edge of a cliff that is 75 meters high. So let's draw this out. We have this cliff. It is 75 meters tall, so that's delta y. We make this negative because the stone's going to be coming back down. We throw it up, it's going to arc, and then it's going to come back down. So, right here in time, our initial velocity is 17.8 meters per second. Right here, our velocity is zero, because at the top of an arc, our velocity would be zero. Something interesting if you didn't know this, but right here, since this is symmetrical, this will also be 17.8 meters per second and this asks this question asks what is the speed just before hitting so I'm not gonna say this is zero not gonna say that because that will throw some people off and we're what other questions we ask how much later does it reach the bottom of the cliff so at our time what is t equal like the total time so let's start off with that let's find the time so we have our initial velocity, our final velocity right here. And we also have acceleration, which would be negative 9.8 meters per second squared. An equation to find time with acceleration, final velocity, and initial velocity would be final velocity equals initial plus a t. Our initial velocity is 17.8 equals zero plus acceleration, which is negative 9.8 t negative 17.8 all over negative 9.8 equals t and that equals negative 17.8 divide that by negative 9.8 1.82 seconds so i'm gonna say whoops 1.8 I'll, I'll do more 1.816 seconds now that's just from here to here that takes 1.816 seconds what we can do here is from here to here is 1.816. So from here to here is 1.816. So we can times that by two to get the time from here to here. Because here's 1.816, then to here is 1.816. So that's why I times it by two. And we'll get 3.6326. So 3.6326. So I'm right there, 3.63. To six plus the time it takes from here to here. So let me erase this. Give us more room. So what do we have here? We have delta y. So delta y equals negative seven five meters. Acceleration is negative nine point eight, and our initial velocity. I'm going to make that is 17.8 meters per second. Since we are going down, this velocity is also gonna be negative. So let me erase that. So what equation will we use here? Well, we'll have to use V squared equals, what is that, V initial squared plus two A delta X. What's interesting is that we're gonna find this speed <clears throat> first before we find our time. The answer to that question. So our final velocity is, we don't know, V initial squared, which would be negative 17.8 squared plus two, negative 9.8. Delta X will be delta Y in this case, which is negative 75. Take the square root of both sides to find our final velocity. And that will be, let me calculate that real quick negative 17.8 squared plus two times negative 9.8 times negative 75, 42.3. So the speed will be 40, was well 42.27, 42.3 meters per second. And if they want the absolute value, it'd be 42.3, because you know, when you do a square root, it's always plus or minus on the outside. 
But anyways, the speed just before hitting is 42.3 meters per second. So let me erase this. Okay, so we can make our final velocity here, 42.3 meters per second. Let's find time, our final velocity. This equation right here, to find time, final velocity is negative 42.3, because once again, we're going down. That equals V initial, which is negative 17.8, because we're going down, plus negative 9.8 times time, if we add 17.8, 42.3 plus 17.8, we'll get negative 24.5, divide that by negative 9.8 to give us T. And that gives us 2.5 seconds, so plus 2.5 seconds. So 3.6326 plus 2.5 will give us 6.1326. And if we want three sig figs, it'd be 6.13 seconds. So we have everything answered except for the total distance it traveled. So how do we find that? Well, let me give us some more room. We already have the delta y for this portion, which is 75. So we have to find this distance right here. Keep in mind, we're gonna have to double it because delta y will go up here and then we'll go another here and then we'll go here. So we're gonna have to double this distance. So I'll show you more by when I do the problem. So we have acceleration, we have initial velocity, we have final velocity. We even had time. I'll have to divide that by two to find time. But let's not do that. Let's use V squared equals V initial squared plus two A delta X. V squared is zero. Initial is 17.8 squared plus two times gravity. Delta X will be delta Y. That's what we're solving for. So 17.8 squared is 316.84 plus two times negative 9.8 is negative 19.6. So let me erase this. Negative 19.6 times delta y equals zero. So negative 316.84 all over negative 19.6 equals delta y which equals, let's see here, 16.16, 16.16 meters, or 16 point, oh, you can't see that, 16.2 meters. Um, that's the distance from here to here, but we also need the distance from here to here, which would be times two, so let me times that by two. So let's see here, let me erase this. So our total distance, it's not asking for our displacement, it's asking for our distance. So we're not really worried about direction, will be 75 plus 16.16 plus 16.16, or just 16.16 times two, plus 75. And our total distance will be about 107 0.33 meters and if we just want three sig figs let's just say 107 meters okay i hope this video helped explain this problem if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment down below like this video if it helped you and subscribe thanks for watching